And now, from the Ford Sports Station, here's Sports Director Spencer Davidson. Good evening. With less than one month until the start of high school fall sports practices getting underway, there's a bit of a controversy brewing as the Holland Patton field hockey team is left scrambling to figure out its coaching situation in light of a decision not to bring back its longtime leader. The Holland Patton Board of Education recently informed Renee Morrison, Golden Knights head coach for nearly two decades, that she has not been approved to return for the upcoming fall season. The decision has sent shockwaves through the Hopa Fiho community, with many concerned over what they perceive to be a lack of transparency and cause for denial. I reached out to the HP School Board for comment and received this statement from Board President Kathy Smith that says, the board thanks you for your email and we appreciate your interest in our athletic program. We are, however, unable to discuss personnel matters. I also got a hold of Morrison herself tonight who said, quote, I have devoted more than half my life to the Holland Patton community as a player and then a coach with one goal in mind, training female athletes to preserve, to persevere, excuse me, through the obstacles thrown at them, either on the field or in life, and preparing them for their next journey beyond Holland Patton, while giving them as many opportunities to grow and learn the great sport of field hockey and what being a team really means. The decision by the Board of Education without proper due process is devastating to me, but also my field hockey family, as I have strived with my team of coaches to make Holland Patton proud, represented not only at the high school level in the section and across the state, but also at the college level. Morrison, a Holland Patton alum, has coached the Golden Knights for the past 18 years, both at the varsity and modified levels. She has led HP Varsity to five section titles and a regional championship, winning 130 games along the way. This is a developing story, and we're expecting to hear more from Morrison tomorrow. 